The PepWave Max mobile router gives you the freedom to choose exactly which internet services are a best fit while you are traveling. It allows you to connect up to six internet connections for load balancing. There is an Ethernet WAN port, a PC card slot, an Express card slot, two USB ports, and a Wi-Fi WAN connector. There is also a Wi-Fi LAN connector for your local access. Let's connect an Ethernet WAN connection to the PepWave Max unit. Once you have plugged the cable in, you can see the status changes to connected and the light is green. Click here to view and configure the connection settings. You can also modify the different parameters. Like the WAN connection name, you can change it to something easier for you to remember, or the DNS settings, the up and downstream bandwidth values, or the health check settings. When you're done, click Save and Apply to go back to the dashboard. Now for the Wi-Fi WAN. Click here to look for an AP around us to connect to. To make it easier for you to look for your network, you can sort the order by clicking a column. You can see now the APs are sorted by their signal strength. Once you see the name, click Connect and you can see its profile details. Depending on the security of the AP, you may need to enter a shared key in order to proceed. As you are waiting to get connected to the AP, the dashboard gives you information about the connectivity status. Once it is ready, let's take a look at the connection details. Here it shows information like the signal strength and you can also adjust the different parameters. At the bottom, you can see a list of the Wi-Fi connection profiles that you have saved earlier. Note that for the Wi-Fi association mode, there is an option for you to choose to connect by the profile priority. When this option is selected, the PepWave Max unit will connect to the first available starting from the top of the list. Now, let's get ready with the USB modem and plug it into the PepWave Max unit. There are two USB ports and you are able to plug your modem into either of them. Once the connection has been established, you can see that modem information is automatically detected. You can edit the operator settings if necessary, and you may want to enable the bandwidth allowance monitor to keep your bandwidth usage below the limits set by your service provider. Just check the option to enable it, select which day of the month you want to start counting, and enter the monthly allowance value. Now, let's insert an Express card into the PepWave Max unit. For Express cards and PC cards, you can see the details page is basically the same as the one for USB. You can simply drag and drop the connections to rearrange their priority or to disable them. The connections that are in a lower priority group will only be used as backup. When a connection that is in use becomes unavailable, the traffic will automatically fail over to the connections in the next priority group. This will continue to provide reliable internet connectivity as you are traveling. Once a higher priority connection becomes available again, the lower priority connections will go back to standby. You can drag and drop connections and have more than one in the same priority group to perform load balancing. In addition, the PepWave Max unit has a built-in Wi-Fi AP as well. This is something separate from the Wi-Fi WAN that we mentioned earlier. With this AP turned on, 
It gives you LAN access, so you can easily connect your laptop, iPhone, or BlackBerry to it. This built-in AP also supports multiple SSIDs. This is a handy feature for controlling access. For example, you can create a password-protected SSID for your staff and have an open SSID for guest access. If you want to temporarily turn off your AP, you can just turn it off like this. You can see how easy it is to manage your mobile internet with the PepWave Max unit. Still have questions? Please contact us at this link.